<laughs> this feels so weird. Okay, so I have no intention of making any series of videos on like how to do a van conversion because I have no idea what I'm doing. But we, on the new Ford Transits, you can get a special feature called the Auxiliary Fuel Port Extension Line. And it comes as a part of the package when you get the extended fuel tank. And I could not find any information on this online. So I thought I would go ahead and post this so that it maybe could be a little easier for other people to find this information. But this is what the extended fuel tank looks like. It goes all the way from back there to all the way up here. The extension fuel port is going to be on the side towards the back. It looks like this. It's a little blue cap with a red piece. It does not match the auxiliary fuel port piece that comes from Ford, the little yellow one that goes for gasoline. It does not fit that. It actually, what you have to do is you have to <clears throat> remove this red piece and you have to like cut some of, oh, sorry, my fuel line's in the way. You have to cut some of these little flanges so this red piece can come off completely. So should come off all the way. I already cut those pieces. So I should be able to just pop it off. We'll see if I can do it in a way where you can actually see what I'm doing. So yeah, so that red piece should just come out. This is the area where I had to cut it in order to, for it to come out, otherwise it's very solidly attached. Now, in the videos of the auxiliary port, it's on top, so there's never an issue with gas coming out. The first time I pop this little blue piece out, there is gas in that line. Even if you have not used it, I got gas all over myself. So you wanna make sure that you point it upwards when you open it and that you are not directly underneath it so that it's not gonna go on your in your eyes or in your mouth. Um, the other thing, because that auxiliary fuel port piece from Ford does not match, there is another piece you have to buy. Um, I found, or actually my husband found a link for it buried in a Ford Transit forum where someone had very kindly posted their photos of how they used this auxiliary port, but it was very hard to find. I was not successful in finding that random um, forum post. So I hopefully, maybe if I post this on YouTube, that'll be a little easier for people. But so what I did is I bought the piece. It's like a female, female to male connector. I've already attached the end of it into my fuel line. I used the 90 degree one that is not the Wabasto one that goes from the larger gauge down to the smaller gauge because that one was too big for the male connector on this part. Um, the regular line that they give you that goes in between like all of the other parts fit onto it nicely. It was actually very tight. Um, and then I clamped it. So hopefully that doesn't leak once I connect it. But this piece, this little black piece right here, I believe it's um, the female connector. That one should go into where this blue piece is. And hopefully I can do it without spilling gas everywhere. <laughs> Can't remember how I got this out the first time. <laughs> uh, let's see. gonna go grab some pliers. Attention number two. <laughs> Let's see. Using pliers makes this easier. Okay, you can see gas did come out at me there. So I'm gonna fit this in. And then you still need that red piece because that's how you lock it back in place. Okay. So, okay, so I've got that snap back in. Yep, it's locked in place now. So, I did get gas on myself, so you should definitely wear your safety glasses. But now I've got that red piece locked back in place. And this inserted it only goes up to that first 
ring, this little in-between part just kind of sticks out. It's, I don't know why it's let that long, but so yeah, so now it's connected. Give it a tug. Yeah, that's not coming out. It's not leaking, except for what I already got on myself. <laughs> you can see it spilled all over my cardboard too. So that's how you connect to the auxiliary fuel port extension line, because it's not like the regular extension port.